first of all, I got to tell you guys, just totally amazed. We were totally flabbergasted at all the comments, the well wishes, the prayers, the kind words, the encouragement um, that was given for my upcoming surgery. It just, I'm, I just, I can't believe it. I'm just overwhelmed and so happy that the YouTube family that we've grown has come to help me in those ways. And it is so appreciated. Uh, just, it's just fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so much. It is so greatly appreciated. So 10 days before my surgery, I was on my new medications for heart rhythm. And one evening, my heart decided to start racing and have an irregular beats. So I waited about uh, close to an hour, hoping it would go back into rhythm on its own. And it didn't. So we off to the hospital again, got checked in at a heart rate of 144. But I also had AFib going on, did the EKG and all that sort of thing, drew the blood, took an x-ray. And then they gave me some... Uh, injection which slowed my heart rate below 100 it, but even though I was there for like four hours it still wouldn't go back into regular rhythm so the doctor came in and said well we can do the zapper on you and you might jump back out again in an hour and a half or you could stay overnight and we could just watch you or you could just go home and if it gets over 120 beats per minute come back into the hospital so I chose to go home it was 33 hours later still on my medications, that my heart finally went back in a normal rhythm. I also had to get a COVID test and I had some anxiety about that. Dave got one too. So I have to go in for a COVID test before I have my surgery done and I'm not looking forward to that at all. I've heard that it can be quite painful and they put that cotton swab up your nose and it feels like it's going up into your brain. And, uh, just have a little anxiety about doing it, but here we go. Good morning. Hi, my name's Joyce. I'm one of the pre-surgical nurses, and I've got some coronavirus info as well as some Kleenex. Um, oh. Have you been swabbed before? I have not. Okay, gently blow your nose. Try to bring some moisture down to your lower nostrils. Do not dry it out. Oh, and then no. I'm going to swab each side for just a few seconds, and then you can clean up. How about oh, that? So you're going to be uh, real be gentle, gentle, right? Just circling to try to get that mucus. Oh, okay. This way I don't have to go to your brain. <laughs> I do appreciate I'm, I'm that. Not into, I'm not into brain biopsies. That's above my pay grade. Because I you hear such terrible things. <laughs> I'm an old nurse. I got old nurse tricks. I appreciate that. Looks a little, little something to be said for experience. <laughs> Do not expect a phone call unless the results are positive. No okay. news is good news with this test, okay? All righty. All right. That was not bad at all. She just rolled it around in my nose. Not bad at all. Dave, I heard you got a COVID test. Oh, I did, I did. Why did you get a COVID test? I have a sinus infection. Uh-huh. So they decided I needed a COVID test, too. That's probably just to drive the bill up. Yeah, probably. And how was it? It was very pleasant. <laughs> you liar. <laughs> it wasn't like mine. Mine was pleasant. Here, you can see the scrape marks back here <laughs> on my skull. <laughs> it was not fun. And then you just sit there and they got this long Q-tip. Well, you know, seemed like about that long. Uh -huh. And they put that thing up your nose as far as they can get it. Until, you know, they feel you're bumping into your brain. And then they wiggle it around. Then they pull it out. Then they do the other side. Oh, they do both sides? Oh, yeah. From 1 to 10, 10 being I wish I was dead, and 1 I didn't even know they did it. What would you rate it? I'd give it about a 3. Okay. Yeah. No big deal, but it's just not fun. Yeah. Your eyes are a little watery afterwards for a while. I was just going to ask you, did it make you want to cry? <laughs> oh, yeah, we cried. That's why they give you the tissue. You go bunch your little eyes. Oh. Oh. Well, sorry yours wasn't as pleasant as mine. Yeah, you had it easy. I did. The day before the surgery, I had the trans esophageal 
echocardiogram, the TEE today. <clears throat> and um, the team in there was fantastic. We were kidding around. Uh, they explained everything very well. And to go through it, first of all, I had to gargle this thick gel-like stuff for over a minute to numb my throat and then swallow it. Um, it didn't really taste all that bad, but uh, it wasn't great, that's for sure. Um, and then they sprayed my throat uh, just to numb it some more. And then the nurse put her fingers down my throat to see if I was still going to gag. I did a little bit. So then she sprayed it again and then practically put her whole hand down there before I gagged. So they were, said I was ready to go. And that tasted like cinnamon cherries. Actually, it kind of burned. Didn't really care for that. And then they gave me a little stuff I didn't. So I didn't really care a whole lot. And they lubed up the um, tube. They had the camera scope on the end of it. And they asked me to swallow. Then they asked me to swallow again. I do remember it be feeling large, but it I was able to do it without any problem. And then immediately I was out. I think the, pro the procedure only took like 10 or 15 minutes where they took different pictures of my heart um, for the surgery for Tuesday, the next day. And... Um, they woke me up and um, Dave drove me back home. I am back in recovery. I will be here for a couple hours. I guess the surgery was about mm, three hours. I guess it went well. And I'll be talking to the doctor a little later on. And uh, right now I don't feel much of anything. <laughs> But so far, so good. They said it went well. Thank you for your prayers. Yeah, looks like all them prayers worked. Oh, yeah. So we are now back home, and I just have to be careful about the incisions. Can't pick up anything heavy. Try to rest and relax for a few days. Can't drive or anything for a couple of days. And let Dave take care of me. Only issue I had the first night was bad trying to sleep because the pads that they put on my back in the operating room, whatever the sticky stuff is, the tape they use on them, gives me um, a rash and it itches. So first night was kind of tough. Um, this is the morning of the next day and um, better. And uh, I'm doing well and we're hoping to begin our travels again November 15th after a couple more visits to the doctor. Thanks again for all your well wishes and your prayers and appreciate it. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below, even if it's just to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe.